Hi everybody, it's Brian from MarketingHits.com and today I'm going to show you how to add these cool little widgets to your Scoop It topic. Now you will have to have a Scoop It business plan or higher. Uh, you cannot use a Scoop It Pro plan because you can't customize the HTML code. Scoop It business plan is well worth the value. I've had one for years and it has brought me a lot of traffic to my site. Okay, let's get started. So on this topic, this is my marketing hits topic. I have three widgets. The top one here with the subscription to my newsletter. Some follow us widgets. And this here survey widget that I just added. On my other topic here, this is on my website design topic. Again, I have a newsletter, the follow us widget, and a contact us widget on the bottom here. Now, how do you get these widgets? Well, I'm using a site, brand new site. Uh, they just started up a few months ago called GetSiteControl.com. Here they list their widgets, survey, contact, promo, subscription, uh, this uses MailChimp and some other services, follow, a share widget, and a live chat that they have coming soon here. You can see how it's going to look on your page, there's a preview. Pricing is very reasonable. There's a free plan, it's free forever and unlimited widgets, unlimited sites, some stats. I use the pro plan which is ten dollars a month. It gives me a few more options. Again if you have a higher traffic site there's other plans for those. Again very reasonable for the amount of lead generation and, and stuff that you can do with these widgets. Okay let's sign up for a brand new plan. There's my other account here. I'll just make a new one. Okay, and I'm going to put it on my Scoop It topic. So I'm just going to go here and copy and paste the main Scoop It URL in here. You wouldn't want to put your topic because this way you can add it to more topics and I'll show you how that to do that in a video here. Okay, I'm going to create an account. Okay, I now have a free account. It lists the Scoop It website up here. I'll show you how to install the widgets. You can add more sites. So if you have a blog and that, you can also add those in here. Again, unlimited websites. And here we've got the 330 day plan. And this gives us a pro plan for 30 days free trial. And then you can upgrade after that. And again, I use the $10 pro plan. Now let's make a widget first and then I'll show you after how to install the widgets on your site. So for this one, again here's the different types. I'm going to make a survey widget for my Amazon versus eBay topic. So here we can make a, the name unique. And where we want it to, we're going to leave the status off right now. Where we want it to show up. So there's a few different options. Again, there's a top one, a bottom one, right in the center, off to the left, off to the right. So this person would have to hover over that to take it. One coming up from the bottom. Again, this is what I use for my contact one. On the other side, the one that f kind of floats on the corners there. So for this one, I am going to use 
the right in the center pop up okay you can change this button here the text if you want to I'm gonna just leave it this as send different styles of questions you can add okay let's add a question Which do you like better? I'm not going to put a description. Amazon, eBay, and we'll leave the other in there too. Again, if you want to get rid of that, you can just turn it off, delete it. Uh, we can add commenting here so the person can comment after they've made the selection. So there's my three selections. Again, if you can make it whatever number you want, you can add more. You can randomize it. I got a thank you on the bottom here. You can preview it to see what it's going to look like, but we'll install it on the site and I can show you how that works. Okay, so that's the survey set up with the questions to begin. And here you can see how it's going to look. It's a live preview. Okay, now for design, we can. It finds the colors of the website that you've submitted. So we can use the scoop it green there. Or you can change it. We can change how it's going to be animated. So I like the swing one here. And because we've got the free pro trial plan, we can click this and it's going to remove the little logo that was in here. So that's their logo that's clickable to their site. But with the pro plan, we can remove it. Okay, now that we have the design, we can go on to the behavior. So this is where we tell it how often, when to show. So the first one here, start to display the widget at once as soon as the page loads. Or there's different options. It's great if you got a widget that when someone's leaving the page it will show up. So there's a few things there. How often? We're going to show it on every page view. And here's the nice thing with the pro plan, you can have it stop. So you can have it set to never under these conditions. Well, I don't want to show it if someone's already done my survey, so I'll check that. Or if they've seen it, let's say five times, I'm not going to show it to them anymore because obviously they're not interested. Okay, now we need to set the targeting. So we'll go to that tab. And here's where we set what pages we want it to show on. Or you also have the option to set what pages you don't want it to show on. And there's some definitely a lot of little helpful things in here that they have. Okay, so it has a scoop it already in there because we've added that at the beginning when we signed up. Now I need to get my topic. So I'm going to go to my topic here. And this is my topic. I'll be adding this widget to. So I copy and paste this part of the URL. This is a unique part of the URL for that topic. I go in here and I paste it in. One thing you want to make sure is that you don't have two backslashes here. Only copy and paste to one. Now this would show up on my topic, but I also want it to show up on my inner scoop pages of that topic. So I'm going to add another one here. Again, paste this one in again, but this time I'm going to add a backslash and an asterisk. And this tells it to also put it on 
all the other pages within that topic. And some pro user features, we can show it to all visitors, which I will. Or they have some cool customizations here. Um, if you're running a website and stuff, you could sh just show it on mobile. Lots of little options here. And we can show it to however many visitors. In this case, I'm going to leave it at 100%. Next tab, integration. Again, this is how often we want it to send me the results for my other survey that I have on my marketing hits. I like it right away to see who's filling them out. And it's going to send me an email every time one's filled out. Okay, so that's how to set it up. I'll save this. Okay, now it's asking us to activate it or leave it deactivated. Or we can activate it and then install it on, on the Scoop It topic. Okay, so now we're going to install it. I'll show you how easy that is. So now that I'm finished, I'm going to need the code. One. Okay, now we're going to add the code into our Scoop It topic. Okay, I go up to Site Settings here. And here's a few things we can discuss before we add the code. You can add your Google Analytics to it, so it also tracks it. If you're doing the subscription one, you can add the MailChimp key to it here. Here's the spot where I've added my Scoopic. There's some previews if you want to see what it's going to look like on a mobile site. You can see what, how it would look. Okay, let's install the code. So here's our code that it gives us. Really simple to do. Copy and paste. And if you have a WordPress site, there's other options there, but we're going to use this copy and paste for our scoop topic. So I'm going to copy it. So I copied all this code. I'm going to go over to my... Okay, now let's go ahead and add that widget code into our topic. So here's my topic again, Amazon versus eBay. Go to the customization tab here. This is where you edit your templates or switch templates. For this one, I'm using the adaptive template, but it doesn't matter which one you're, you're using. The widgets would work on all of them. Again, as long as you have a scoop it business plan or higher so that you can edit the HTML code. So let's go ahead and add the code. So click here on edit HTML. and You'll see all this scary code come up. Only thing we have to do is copy and paste what we have right here. So I always go down one line and paste it in. So that pasted that code that we got from get site control into our HTML code here. Now if we click update preview, our widget now shows up. So we know we've done that right. Click save. And there it is. Just that easy. Now when someone comes along and fills out my survey, they like that, they can type something in there, click send, and there's the thank you. Okay, now that we've added that widget, let's add another widget to the same topic. Okay, we're going to go back to the dashboard and create a widget. This time we'll do the follow widget. And here you can see, you can add it to, again, all the different spots. Just like the other ones. I'm going to add it to the left-hand side here. It has all the social networks available. Let's just add a Twitter one. I'll grab my Twitter URL.
and paste that in here. We won't do the Facebook, but we'll just leave the button on. And again, same thing with design. You can choose a different color. Just keep it at the green. I'll remove the logo. We'll have it slide in. We'll so show it all the time. And for pages, again, I want to put it on my Amazon eBay page. So the same thing, go in here and copy the URL. I will paste it in there. Add that. And add it to all the inside pages of my topic. Who will see it? We want it to all visitors and 100%. So then we click save. Oops. I guess I can't leave that blank. I have to either fill it in or remove it. So I'll just remove it. Now we just have the Twitter one up there. We click OK. It's going to say, do you want to activate it now or leave it deactivated? We'll activate it now. Okay, so I have those two widgets on that topic. If I go back to my topic, let's close that and do a refresh. My follow widget is now here on the left hand side. You don't have to add any more code to your topic. You only have to do that once and no matter how many widgets you want you can add it right to that topic just by using this dashboard if i wanted to turn that off i can go in here and deactivate it go back to my topic do a refresh here and now that widget's turned off nice thing about this site is that you can go and add different widgets to different topics or have one widget on multiple topics just by adding it into targeting here so you can put more topics or you can set up separate widgets for each each one and track them that way I hope you found this how-to video helpful. Again, this is Brian from marketinghits.com. Make sure you follow me on Scoop It. I have a lot of different topics covering different things of marketing and design. Also, hit me up on Twitter. You'll find me at Marketing Hits on Twitter. If you have a question, email me, ideas, at marketinghits.com. Thanks a lot.